Welcome to the Government Provider Management System Training Video Series. In this video, we will demonstrate logging into GPMS and what to expect if it is your first time logging into the portal. Specifically, we will cover logging into GPMS with Vanguard Federated Authentication Service, logging into GPMS with your MyGov ID, and the terms of use you must agree to when logging into GPMS for the first time. To begin with, to access the GPMS, you will need to follow the displayed link. By selecting this link, you will be navigated to the login screen. As you can see, you can choose from either Vanguard Federated Authentication Service or MyGov ID Digital Identity. The login method you need to select will depend on the organisation or provider you work for and what details you were provided with during your onboarding. If you are uncertain, speak to your organisation administrator. To log in using Vanguard, select the Login with Vanguard Federated Authentication Service button. The Authentication Service screen will display. In this screen, you need to select the organisation you represent. In the text field, you can begin to type the name of the organisation you represent and then use the menu slider to complete your selection. Once you have made your selection, select the Continue button. The GPMS landing page will display. Now let's take a look at accessing GPMS using your MyGov ID. Back at the login screen, this time we will select the Login with MyGov ID Digital Identity button. A screen will display asking you to select an authentication method. Ensure MyGov ID authentication is displaying and select the Next button. The Select Your Identity Provider screen will display. Look for the caption labelled MyGov ID and select the Select MyGov ID button. The MyGov ID screen will display. In the MyGov ID email field, enter the email address you use for your MyGov ID and then select the Login button. If you work for more than one organisation, the Relationship Authorization Manager screen will display and allow you to select the organisation you want to represent. Select the radio button of the organisation you want to access GPMS with and select the Continue button. The GPMS landing page will display. If this is the first time you are logging into GPMS, the Terms of Use screen will display. You can click the Here link to view the Terms of Use in their entirety. Once you have read them, select the Yes radio button and then select Next. If you select the No radio button, you will be advised your GPMS registration cannot be completed if you do not agree with the Terms of Use. Select Next to return to the GPMS Terms of Use screen, select the Yes radio button and Next to complete your registration. Thank you for watching this training video on logging into GPMS. Take the time to view the other training videos in this series on adding users to GPMS and editing user access roles.